Hi everybody. So I was asked to come up with a rocket stove or kind of a kit if you like to build a rocket stove for somebody who had no tools, no welding experience, no space, no experience in building anything and could I do it? And I thought well <laughs> that's challenging eh? But a fascinating and my mind immediately turned to these things. Plumbing fittings. Now, we're used to plumbing fittings of this kind of size and you know you go down your big box store that's what you're going to buy for your home water but plumbing fittings come in crazy sizes so I went online and bought some plumbing fittings <laughs> what we've we got here no, believe it or not plumbing fittings we're not used to seeing them in this size but they come uh, easily six inches you can get hold of six inch fittings really easily these are four inch fittings as it happens and they're huge now i got these from bes which is a pipe fitting supplier online but if you haunt um scrap yards facebook marketplace just look online yourself you're going to find these really easy to get hold of and you're able to buy them no worries at all now i've got a t-junction a 90 degree elbow a cap these are called school board fittings, a couple of school board fittings, and these things, these are called nipples, and yes I did use the word nipples, and yes I am holding them in a provocative manner. So I had a couple of plain nipples, and a nipple that has one smooth edge and one screwed edge. The other essential component is this thing. This is a specialist material high temperature silicate, not silicon, silicate putty. It's good to 1200 degrees centigrade. And believe it or not, you can buy that in your big box store. I got this from B&Q so I'm pretty sure it's at Lowe's. Anyway, that is basically the kit and all we have to do is screw this thing together. So let me screw it together. There you are, that section bolted together. Pretty easy, the T goes to the elbow, ah, oh, smooth nipple goes upright, and the other one goes there. Now, they don't have to be tight. Hand tight is just fine. You just need to make sure that those are in line with each other. As long as it's hand tight, you're on a winner, because we've got a little knuckle here with a gap in it, and you'd think that's where all the smoke's gonna come out, which is what this is for. We put this in that knuckle joint, and when that's sealed up and hardened, it's going to be good to 1200 degrees centigrade. So let's just put this in all those joints. So when you've put the sealant round, that's where these come in. Schoolyard fittings of the feet. Sorry, school board fittings of the feet. We put one on there and one on there. Okay, that's with the feet on. Now they will wobble a bit, so we need some more sealant in there, which when it dries will actually act to hold it all together. And of course that is our wood filly bit where our cat goes on you might want to put a wooden handle on that or wear gloves when you take it off or use a big spanner or whatever it is you've got to be able to lift that off to drop your wood in i'm probably going to put a handle on it but you don't need to uh, and okay, obviously once these feet have dried we've got this pipe to put in that's it completed and the final bit i've added another nipple here because this is 110 across and what i've got is a length of 100 mil pipe, four inch pipe. If we just slot that in there, it will hit the knuckle at the back and you'll feel it stop. And then what you do is fill that with this. Once it's dried, it'll lock it in place. So we just wait for it to dry and that'll be sometime tomorrow. to get going. You can see it's still drying off a bit. Look at the colour of that. We've got some temperature in there and it's roaring away. You can hear the rocket sound actually. Pretty cool. Now, because of my reading, there is this ratio going around. And if you think that the opening size is 100, top to bottom should be 200, from that edge to that edge 300, from that edge to that edge 400. Or at least that's what they say. It's 2A, 3A, 4A, if that's A. I have no idea. <laughs> when we hit this, what we found obviously is that bit is certainly a bit of BS. Is if you get it so that the smoke is coming back out at you, you say you've got it wrong. Actually, you haven't got enough draw 
you, you put a longer chimney on, it'll pull it through the drawer. So I'm not sure to what extent that ratio is actually valid, but there you go, that, that's the ratio. Of course, I have doomed myself to having to wear a glove because I put this beautiful metal knob on there to lift the lid off. But hey, I just like a bit of brass and why not? It is cooking that was cool. So there it is, a rocket stove kit that can be made from readily available parts. The only bit of steel I got was this bit, and I got this from Metals For You, and it was cut to size for me, and it was £11. So it's uh, 4 inches by 500 millimetres. They cut it to size and charge you for what you buy, which is just fantastic. The rest is plumbing fittings. <laughs> I know I've put this brass handle, but I like brass, hey? Uh, I should really put something insulating there to lift that cap off with, because I'm now forever going to be wearing a glove if I have to take the cap off, which I do to feed it. Uh, but, you know... We all make our choices, I suppose. But, no welding, no tools. Well, screwdriver to screw the legs on. No skills, no experience. You get yourself a rocket stove that I think looks kind of cute and will do a pretty good job. Now this thread here, incidentally, if we get a four to six inch adapter, bit a six inch pipe and a six inch cap, we then have an internal rocket stove. How about that? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.